Welcome aboard passengers. The final episode to the Midland Mainline coming to train tomorrow by Skyhook Games. This is Leicester. Cue the intro. Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Simp. We are at Leicester Station. The final episode of this series all up. There's another train coming through. As you know, we have got 12 stations, 12 days. You've seen all of the other 11, plus some extra bonus videos here and there. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. Anyway, Leicester, four platforms. We have four platforms on this station. We have a mixture of EMR Intercity, EMR Regional, and also cross-country services. Cross country is usually the 170s, and then we have the triple twos, and we have the 180s for the intercity. And then whatever you get with the East Midlands Railway Regional. Could be a 15A, could be a 170, you just don't know. Anyway, this Meridian is now leaving to go to Sheffield, so that's Derby, Chesterfield, Sheffield. Wait for that to go. There we go. So, yeah, four platforms this station has got. It's also got the freight um, depot. So as you probably saw um, on the clips that I'm gonna be showing you in a bit, there is a freight one just north of the station. Um, as you look out to the right, um, there's some really good stuff in there. You've seen that in my videos before where I've shown you that, um, that depot or that area um, where certain trains, 47s, 37s, um, even some uh, 91s were there at one point. But anyway, let's have a look at the station. Leicester, and yeah, come on, come join me. We are really looking forward to Midland Mainline coming to Trainson World, just in case dates have changed, coming soon. Let's go. Did you know that Leicester had seven railway stations? Seven. That's quite a lot, I think. Opened in 1840 as Leicester. 1867, renamed to Leicester Campbell Street. June 1892, renamed to Leicester London Road. 1894 was rebuilt. 1969, renamed to Leicester. Finally, the second rebuild, 1978. Leicester was one of the first cities, though then a town, to be served by a railway when Leicester and Swannington Railway built its terminus station at Westbridge on the western side of Leicester, um, which was then absorbed by the Midland Railway like it usually does up here. As we said, yep, seven stations, um, loads going on, but this is kind of like the only one that's left. There were smaller stations um, around and about, but yeah, they are all now, the first contract for this station um, was awarded by Midland Counties Railway to Water Waterfield and Smith, um, and that was using trains of four first and six second class carriages by Rapid Speed Engine. So, as was normal in those days with a through station, the original plan was to build um, it to the side of a main line. But instead, it was finally built on the main line with a single platform 165 yards long to handle both northbound and southbound. Well, just one platform. Well, we can see that's changed since. So, yeah, lots of stuff is going on. One thing to note the station clock is the only hand wound station clock in the UK. And also, it does have the commemorative statue outside of Thomas Cook. We all know the company Thomas Cook that went under and it's kind of back again online. But yeah, the, uh, the guy Thomas Cook who created uh, holidays and things like that, the holiday package, um, there's the statue outside. Don't forget this was also part of LMS, so when the beaches cuts happened, a lot of the lines around about were all closed, so um, Leicester was used uh, for certain express trains, uh, but they tended to use the Earwash Valley um, 
I say ear wash, it's supposed to be error wash, but I call it ear wash, so let's, let's stick with ear wash. <laughs> and then you've got Settle and Carlisle and things like that. So, yeah, lots of different things that happen. Um, the sectorisation of British Railway in 1980, um, Leicester became an intercity sector of this. Um, and then with the privatisation, the station was owned by Railtrack, not late to Network Rail. But as with common, as common with most railway stations, the day-to-day -day operation is contracted out to the largest user of the station. In this case, Midland Mainline. Now, I'm going to say it. Where is my space? East Midland Railway do you not use it, but East Midland Railway look after it. Don't know. Don't know why cross country don't use it. Let me know in the comments if you know. Anyway, Midland Mainline were contracted out to help with our daily operations, so installation of large electronic departure boards, installation of automatic ticket gates, repair evasion, you know, all of this sort of thing happened. Also resurfacing of the station happened in 2010, so that's about 13 years old now. But as you can see, we do have a mixture of cross-country and small railways that we stop at this station. Um, also a first-class lounge, which is now closed because East Island Railway have zero lounges I don't think we're ever going to get them back unfortunately and also British Transport Police has an office there also with a short stay drop off and pick up area taxi rank in the Port Cochere that's the French term for the coach gateway that we see at the beginning but no lovely big station really nice to see the different services that uh, run from this station shame that there's no HST anymore but it's nice to still see the HST ramps that are on this station, just in case we've got that in the future. There is regeneration prospects happening to the station, um, which is happening um, over the next few years, um, as with potential electrification, um, which we may possibly will not get, <laughs> but it's nice to know that it's there. And also we do have the Ivanhoe line, was reopened after that it's beaching cuts of 68 but all good let's continue watching the video and uh, this is the last video of the 12 days 12 stations so hopefully you enjoyed this series and uh, if you did like it and you'd like me to do some more let me know down in the comments but yeah let's continue watching the